received a question from James asking, on an earlier episode you mentioned that HDMI cables really don't have a set transmission distance limit. I'm still curious about HDMI over Ethernet for certain applications. Is there any loss of signal or picture quality when using HDMI to Ethernet converters? And what is the maximum image size and refresh rate for video over Ethernet? Thank you, James in Columbus, Ohio. Well. Joining me is our resident HDMI <laughs> over Ethernet expert, Mr. Jim Lauderback. He is joining us, and he's one of us that fortunately has a house that's all wired up, and he is currently taking advantage of this very technology. Yeah, exactly. So I've run, and it's not Ethernet. It's actually just the Cat5 or Cat6 cables that okay. Ethernet runs over. That's what you use. But So I've got a direct TV box in one part of my house, and I wanted to extend it to my TV in another part of the house. Actually, I want to split the signal. That's a long story. Totally. So I found this product from a company called ArcView, and I'm going to show it off to you right here. Let me grab this one. Um, and basically, it's 50 bucks at Tiger. Uh, it's like 53 bucks at Amazon. It's the ArcView HDMI Cat 5E extender. And what it does is what you would imagine. It uses those uh, Cat 5, Cat 6 cables to extend your DV, uh, HDMI cable from point A to point B. Now, a couple of caveats just to keep in mind on this. I use it for um, 1080i, 720p. I could extend about 130 feet, and I know that because I've used my fluke cable tester to Very measure cool. it. Um, but I, and, and over a couple different hops, it's a mix of Cat5 and Cat6. Works pretty well. Right here, we're actually showing it, and I've got 25 feet of cable here, and we're showing it going from this Blu-ray box right here to this TV behind you. And Master and Commander, which is you know, a movie I know you like a lot for oh, reference on these excellent, TVs, right? Excellent audio. But remember, we're only looking at 720 P right here. Gotcha. When you go up to higher resolutions, you've got to make sure two things. First of all, your cables are really good, so I recommend Cat6. Okay. It's rated to go 100 feet for 1080p, but I just want to show you something here. I want to show you how it doesn't always work. I got you. Um, so if, if, let me eject this guy. Uh, I'm going to change it over here once it ejects. And we were playing around with this. So we were playing around, and I put the 25 foot cables on. I was like, oh, look, it's working just great. And I uh, uh, went over here and it wasn't really working great after all. So I'm going to go into setup, go into uh, uh, system setup, whoops, go into display setup and change it to... Bump it up to 1080p. I'm going to bump it up to 1080p. Now I've done 1080i at 130 feet and it works fine. 1080p right here, these are Ethernet cables that I basically grabbed from our um, uh, CTO. I have no idea how good they are. Right. But as you can see, of it's really quality. not working. And one of the reasons why is it may be that if you see the little power cable right here, I don't know if you can see this, but it doesn't really fit that well. So oh, that could slip uh, right I got out. a feeling that um, definitely that, something you want to tape down. Yeah, you definitely want to tape it. Look, I, oh look, when it's powered up. You know what I'm curious? Oh about? no, you know I'd actually, like to see if it does 1080i or 1080p24 instead you, of 1080p60. By the way, what it just did? You wondering why it's there? Because it went back to the old resolution because oh, yeah, he didn't totally. say okay. So this is 720p again. But let me try 1080p24 okay. real quick just to see if it works with these uh, cables of dubious quality. And you're also <laughs> using two cables for this um, connection setup, right? Yeah. Well, you've got to exactly. You've got to have two cables. That's a really good point. One for the video and one for what's called DCC. So. Gotcha. And, oh, I'll see, it does that, and then I can't see the menu to switch right. it to now oh, Right, see, now anyway. it'll switch back and like, you could set it up and plug it I'm in directly. I'm menu. <laughs> I think but, this might work, but. Look, I, I'm, I have to say, I'm very impressed by this. For me, for uh, my direct TV box for HDMI, which is literally 1080i um, or 720p, it works great. And, and you're using so, an existing connection that you already have pre-wired in your house. Exactly. Um, or you could get some, you know, I, I suggest if you're going to do this and you want to do a higher resolution, get Cat6 cables, so not Cat5 e Cat6 cables, high quality, put it in and uh, give it a try. I think awesome. they're great. And 60 bucks. I for mean, the receiver and the sender? For the receiver and the sender and the power adapter that's not really that good. Not bad at all. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Yes. Thanks, thanks a lot for bringing the demo in. Sure. And oh, by the way, on my blog at louderback.com, I've got a complete write up on it, um, which we'll put in the show notes so you can see what I did and how I did it and how I actually split the signal and got it going, running on two TVs at the same time. Which is This is cool. clearly also maintaining the HDCP content yeah, protection. Yeah, definitely. And it's delivering audio as well. Yep. I mean, well, we yep. You can't hear that, it, but, but it's definitely doing the audio, there. the digital audio, yeah. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Sure.